Ain't no party like a Donner party. <laughs> yeah, one of Jeffrey Dahmer's worst crimes is a recipe over at the New York Times. A recent New York Times piece that delves into the growing trend of cannibalism in contemporary fiction. You know, I love contemporary fiction. That's why I read Kilmeade's books. <laughs> <laughs> He's in bed already. <laughs> the trend includes a slew of new movies, novels, and TV shows featuring humans feasting on each other in often romanticized fashion. Mm, I bet Michael Moore tastes like foie gras. <laughs> In other words, not purely for survival, which is the excuse I've always been using. Audience seem to be craving it, apparently. One of the co-creators of Yellow Jackets, a Showtime series about teen girls eating each other, explained that we're often drawn to the things that repulse us the most. That's how I got married. <laughs> and that's why I'm friends with Shalou. Imagine eating him. There's more flavor in cream tofu. <laughs> Along with the fictionalized tellings of human consumption, the Times also highlight the many historical accounts of real cannibalism. The article caught major flack online for normalizing cannibalism. Of course, many claim that the press is the enemy of the people. Now I know it's because we look delicious. Tom? <laughs> you know, um, what? I figured you would know the answer to this. What situation is the, is the cutoff or the where you can c contemplate cannibalism. What if you're stuck in an elevator for like four hours? <laughs> no, I don't think elevator's no good because there's always, because there's food right outside the elevator. You gotta be off in the wild somewhere. Like the classic, if you're in a boat mm -hmm. and then you got, you know, you gotta draw straws, you decide who you're gonna eat. Uh, I think I would be delicious though. Right. Why? Uh, Just all, is it because it's all white meat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Racist. That's right. That's right. <laughs> the choicest thighs, the best wings. I don't know. <laughs> but we've always liked cannibalism. I mean, we had Soylent Green in our generation. Yes, great and movie. And then, uh, then we had uh, what was that other thing about eating people? Uh, you know, the uh, the Hannibal Lecter. We yes. all loved that. Yes, we love eating lands. people. We think it's great. Do we really think it's, it's great? I mean, it's uh, what I'm saying is this show is nothing new. Every generation has their let's eat people show. You know, it, was, it made me rem uh, reminded me, John. Uh, CNN had a host. Do you remember Rezla Reza Aslan? Reza oh, yeah. Aslan, yeah. Reza, do you remember that when he ate human brains on CNN in a documentary? What? It's like it no. just showed you that CNN never watched their own stuff. <laughs> it was he went out. He went around with some um, some like kind of eccentric cult, and they actually ate human brains. And I think that was the last episode they did. I would hope so. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's the only time. It's the only time at CNN they actually had brains on the air. <laughs> I came up with that now. Uh, take that, America. Does cannibalism deserve this stigma, John? And have you ever <laughs> have you ever thought that you would be asked that question? Uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> no, I, I think it's very unfair to the cannibalists around yes. the world. Uh, they're a, they're a large sector of the Democrat base, and they need to be. <laughs> <laughs> they need to be careful how they talk to him. But what, what about the whole thing about you're not supposed to eat meat? Yes. <laughs> right. As a vegan, you can't be a cannibal. No. So that, you know, that cancels them out, out of the gate. In New York Times, there's a lot of vegans. Yeah. Did a Here, vegan write that article? I don't know. You know what? In the mind of the New York Times, it's probably more humane to eat a human being than an animal. Probably. Right? Because, like, we're oppressors. Right? We're yeah. oppressed people. Right, Kat? You're an oppressor. You're oppressing me right now. <laughs> I can't believe I can do that without saying anything. I'm so powerful. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't get all wound up about, about this article. Like, no. I mean, for my 28th birthday, I did throw myself a Donner Party-themed birthday party. Mm, did you? Yeah, I called it the Donner Party Party. <laughs> <laughs> and I wish I had thought of it earlier because I would have I do have photos. We had like bonnets and like severed limbs and we were at a bar. It was great. Mm -hmm. uh, but this article was just talking about how like there's movies and books about cannibalism. And I actually do think the stigma is a little bit too high. Oh, really? Yeah. Because like the Donner Party didn't want to eat each other. No. You didn't have a choice. And like if I'm dead, you guys can eat me. I don't care. You know, it's you know what? You're always really charitable, and I respect yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, I, but, yeah. But here's the problem. Is she, because she's very skinny, if you really believe that, you'd gain some weight, so it would be a bigger meal. 
Hey, it, this is one way to lower our carbon footprint. Yes, it really is. And just feet in general. Yes. Uh, <laughs> what I, what I, the one woman said, we're drawn to things that repulse us the most. If that was really true, then Full Frontal with Samantha B wouldn't have been canceled. Oh. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Working a jab in there. <laughs> I love the story of the Donner Party because we used to always drive from San Mateo to Lake Tahoe, and you'd have to go through Donner Pass, and my parents would scare the crap out of us <laughs> telling that story. Do you know that they actually cut up all the parts and put them in, wrapped them in paper so you didn't know who you were eating, and then you'd have to pick it out like that? Isn't that great? Sounds like you studied it. I think that's great. Yeah. I think that's really nice. I wouldn't want to know. <laughs> thank you. I think that's for, very thank sweet. Thank you for backing like, me I up. I wouldn't want to know who I was eating. So if you don't know who it is, then yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was very sweet. Yeah, I, I don't think this segment <laughs> is going to be heart. clipped for Fox News. <laughs> you know, they're not going to go go to the website and see the cannibalism segment. No, they're going to lead with it on Fox and Friends. <laughs> yeah, they're going to leave it. Leave it. <laughs> this will show up on Fox and Friends weekend. How long before this is a Fox Nation show? Yeah. <laughs> <That's a real laughs> Host it. <laughs> it's an eight-part series. <laughs> eight, get it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Still working. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.